not the same uh, head attire that you have. So you did something today, Ruby. As people see on the bottom, uh, you did it. And we got some pictures and proof. So before you show us, uh, there are a few images that we got that we shared on social media. And here is one of them. Look at that. So that's a pretty cool one. Uh, but this was before the craziness ensued. I did see this. <laughs> So I saw some of that. I did see also a little bit of this action going on. <laughs> that was a little impromptu shaving action going on there. And then I saw this one. Womp, 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 womp. And then the final product. Bloop. So, now here's, so here is the question. Who wore it better? Hmm. I'm gonna say you. You beat your dad. <laughs> so how my dad has you? like you my dad has a wider cut than I do. Yeah, but you, I think you still got it rocked. So I like your yeah. I like your little hoodie. I have to I have to twitch my hat because I didn't have I was I was not ready for the beanie. So I have to make a point to say okay, how can I go ahead and you know look at you know you and and and, and keep contact with you so. Uh, so how do you feel? I see you, uh, you might be a little bit lighter, so I don't know if you're going to give us a reveal or not, but how do you feel? I feel fine and I feel good. That's awesome. Um, I know the last time that we talked for those that are watching, uh, Ruby went ahead and actually shaved her head today, uh, for St. Baldrick's and raised, uh, went way past her goal. Uh, raising money to end child cancer research and so forth. So um, for those tuning in, uh, I'll give you guys the uh, quick rundown, which is this one here when the first scissor came out. Is this where your heart started beating a little bit and you were kind of like... <gasps> <laughs> yeah. A little bit there. Which was the scariest moment? Was it when the scissor came out or was it when uh, the... It was when it's over. Okay. It was when the clippers came out. Alrighty. <laughs> when my mom was trying to shave it, mm -hmm. it like the clippers didn't work. I saw and it that. like got a hold of my hair and didn't even shave it. It just like pulled it. Yeah, that's when these came these bad boys came out and sorry yeah, so the, the good work. So then you had to use my dad's. Yeah, but you're looking like a pro though, because if you look at your uh your head here, you got the head and dome ready for it, so um, just wanted to kind of pop in real quick and just check on you, see how you're holding up. I am wearing a makeshift uh, beanie. Not as cool as yours, though, because yours has the happy face. So, yeah. Do you feel a little bit weird, like, touching your head now with no hair in it? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So you are pretty much rocking and rolling. Uh, the video is out. Like I said, for those that didn't see, I did post uh, this picture earlier. And the question of the day is, who wore it better? I'm going to say dad won. Dad <laughs> wore it better. Lisa is giving you some heart emojis, uh, showing you that you're awesome, obviously, and you have done some amazing things. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, uh, and then she also concurs, you are a rock star. And now you also have the head of a rock star because a lot of rock stars <laughs> tend to sometimes rock a baldy. So the question is, are you going to have like a little goatee, maybe uh, makeshift goatee to give maybe. your dad a run for his money? Maybe. So now looking at everything that happened uh, from the build up to the initial conversation, to raising some money, um, to doing it and shaving your head. Uh, how was the whole experience for you right now for you? Like looking back at everything that's happened up to today. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit scary, but now it's like fine. Mm -hmm. How many, so, how many beanies do you, are you up to now? Two. So you got, you got, the, two. you got the smiley one and you got to get, and you got the other one. Yeah. Awesome. Um, uh, we got Frank here popping in saying, uh rocking it perfectly you ruby are amazing coming from one fellow marine to yo see when frank had to get his hair cut in the marine corps and he showed up to boot camp uh they just took all his hair he had no they had no courtesy for him 
They just said, hey, we're coming for all your hair, so give it up. <laughs> and we got Brian here saying he is very proud of you, Ruby, uh, for what you have done, stepping up and doing some amazing things. So just want to really kind of just highlight and share the aftermath. And I, like I said, I joined you for those that are, are seeing. I had to pull out uh, a bootleg, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, head, head guard here. Uh, a beanie? Brian, yeah, I didn't have a beanie handy, so I had to pull and make something work. I wish I looked that good when my head was shaved. Brian says you have him beat. So, <laughs> okay. You yeah. think I have my dad beat, too? I think you do, because when you look at this again, l looking at this whole noggin here, you know, but apparently isn't there like a snowstorm, a uh, winter storm going on over there now? Yeah. So are you? do you have school tomorrow? No. Oh well, there you go. I guess you don't have to worry about school tomorrow because of the because of the snow, right? Yeah. Look at that. You shave your head. The snow came. Everything's out of the way. Um, Brian is saying he loves my hat. Uh, apparently we're rocking it, so we're like the hat twins. So I don't know if my hat makes your look any better, but you know, putting a little bootleg Santa Claus vibes out there. Uh, oh, you might know this person here. Amy and in the house, so courageous, definitely have your dat beat. So that is the question. Who wore okay. it better? Uh, let's see here. Ruby, you look beautiful. Uh, you need the beanie for the oh, wedding, you see but you words? don't need to look good, fabulous without it. So even without the beanie, you look amazing. So that is awesome. So is there anything you want to share with those that are watching out there as far as if someone wants to do something and maybe they're a little scared of doing it now that you have done what you said you were going to do and you held true to your promise what would be your advice to people out there just do what you can to make the world better even if it's one hair strand at a time yeah awesome um so i don't want to take too much time i just kind of want to pop in and just check on you i don't know if you're going to give us a reveal of the head i don't want your dad to feel too challenged or whatnot but i like your beanie so you are, you are definitely rocking it. Uh, now you have to go ahead and get like a little fake goatee and then you have a yeah. beat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one question for you is how does it feel? Have you been rubbing your head all day? Uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> so you kind of sneak one of these bits in there every so often like, oh goodness, there's nothing yeah. to hold on to. Yeah. And if you had like a habit of doing one of these bits before, now you're kind of like, whoops, there's nothing there. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. <laughs> um, so you might have not heard of this, but Crayons Ready to Eat uh, by Frank is a company. They actually made crayons that you can actually eat. They're chocolate crayons. So the joke <laughs> is the Marines eat crayons. So he actually made chocolate uh, crayons that you can actually write with. And Lance Corporal Crunch, as you can see the little image there, that is their um, logo mascot. So. Frank is saying, I think we need to send Lance Corporal Crunch beanies your way. So a beanie with that little image right there of Lance Corporal Crunch. So you have yeah. uh, some variety. So we're going to have to hook you up with some beanies to keep your noggin cold with the snow. You mean warm? I mean, yes, to keep your noggin warm because of the snow. Yes. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Got a few comments and questions that came up here. So we got some beanies coming your way. Uh, we got some folks that have definitely voted who wore it better. Uh, definitely for dad, dad won. I mean, you won and beat dad. So that's the question. Who wore it better? Ruby yeah. or dad? And that's the new poll question that you'll see below. So the question of the evening is who wore it better? Ruby or dad? I think that Ruby wins. Just for the record. <laughs> um, before we kind of wrap, uh, I'll, we'll take a few more questions and then see if you have anything you'd like to share. And we'll go from there. Uh, one question coming your way is, does it itch? Yes, it does very much. So you're kind of doing a lot of this going on? Yeah. The, oh, we got some votes coming in here. So votes coming in, Ruby wins. Lisa with her vote, Ruby wins. Amy with her vote, Ruby wore it better. Sorry, Dad. 
I don't know. I think this is all going your way, Ruby, here. So <laughs> I think Dad better just go get a beanie and call it a day. <laughs> but um, any parting words or any last thoughts you'd like to leave with the audience until we get back together again? Um, if you want to do something that you're scared to do, but then you want to do it, you should try to do it. And if you don't like it, then, I mean, you did something great for the world. So you, I guess you could like do something great for yourself too. I love it. And that's a great message. Um, so some <laughs> last messages that came in, uh, well, I'll definitely connect with you, Frank. Um, to get a, a beanie sent out your way to Ruby. So we'll get some beanies your way. Uh, lots of lotion for the head is one suggestion that came in. Uh, Dad needs a matching beanie so he looks like you. So you, the question is, do you want to have a matching beanie with your dad? Or do you want to just rock the beanie and let him not have the same beanie as you? We should have matching beanies. <laughs> what if it's a bedazzled beanie, though? Oh, well... Maybe, 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 maybe not. <laughs> I think you'll rock it. <laughs> uh, you have a heart emoji coming your way from Brian, showing some love. Uh, but that's really what we wanted to do is just pop in real quick, just check on you, Ruby. Make sure that, uh, you know, you were surviving. We saw the pictures. You looked amazing. Your smile showed that you were happy. Uh, now the, <laughs> now the, the, the big thing is some lotion for your head. Um, yeah. Obviously kind of getting some air and getting used to it. Uh, but like all things that we talked before, it will grow back. So the fact of the matter is uh, you've done some amazing things for sure. Uh, we have two beanies coming your way. So that will be coordinated. Um, so Amy, we'll get with Frank and get the shipping over there to uh, Ruby. So two beanies uh, coming your way. Um, here we go. Oh, look at that. Here's a good argument. If you're if you shaved your head, your dad your dad could rock a bedazzled beanie. True, maybe. It's a good compromise. Yeah. If he were to rock a bedazzled beanie, what color bedazzle would you go with? Um, probably like purple or green, because those are one of his favorite colors. All right. So, what's your favorite color? Blue. So a blue bedazzle might be what we could do like a green and a blue bedazzle maybe. So that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. Um, but yeah, so like I said, don't want to take too much of your time, uh, but definitely want to check on you and just pop in, say hello, uh, show the world uh, what you have been able to do, uh, show the great uh, success, and really just support others that may want to do similar things. So. Um, nope, there's no hair back there. I see you touching. <laughs> you're, you're like this. Nope, nope, there's nothing there. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate you. I think you're amazing at what you've done. Uh, we definitely want to keep checking on you and touch base with you to see what your next adventure will be. Uh, but definitely the votes have, the people have spoken. You won and you wore it better. Come on. So okay. what, is your, yeah. what, is your, what is your dad asking you? He's like, take it off, take it off. <laughs> uh, well, we got the picture up, so you don't have to feel yeah. pressured. So, you know, we, we, we got, we, we, and the vote, did you tell him who won the vote? Cause he might oh, not see the vote. I, I won. So tell, I tell, won him, better. Tell, him, tell him what the vote was. The vote was who wore, wore it better, better. <laughs> Ruby or dad. And, and Ruby won. has won. Yes. So from <laughs> all the way in Virginia, all the way to Colorado, uh, what's going on? Uh, we are ready to sign off with Ruby, giving some success to what she's done. She was able to go ahead and do some amazing things. She did shave her head off, her hair off, not the head off, hair off uh, for St. Baldrick's, raised a great amount of money uh, to be able to help, you know, in the kids' cancer research uh, efforts that they're doing over there. So. Uh, one message you can take back to your parents, Ruby, from Lisa. I bet your mom and dad are proud of you. Uh, we all are proud of what you've done. We're sure that your mom and dad also are equally even more proud of what you've done. And again, sharing that. So for those that may have missed it, uh, I'll share again some of the images that we had. There you see the buzz. Here you see a little uh, of the action going on when she kind of went through it. 
Uh, here we see the initial chop coming over. So uh, overall, the final product is the best, which is a huge smile. We have voted uh, Ruby War best. Dad has lost. And we're going to get some beanies for you. Um, not so much bedazzled, just regular ones for right now. But if we do get some bedazzled ones, you know, you figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but aside of that, I am I'm happy and proud of you for what you've done and looking forward to checking in with you again. So I'll let you say goodbye to the peoples. Bye. We'll be back for uh, next one.